Hey everyone, welcome to effect for you channel. Today we are creating 3D picture gallery, like this. So let's start it. First, create a new composition, 800 by 800, 30 frame per second. And change the name placeholder 1. And select a rectangle tool, double click on it to make a perfect rectangle. Fill color none, stroke color white and size 56 pixel. Now open images folder and drag first image into timeline. Resize image if required. Now create to another new comp, this time full HD 1920 by 1080. 30 frame per second. Then create a new solid background layer. And search ramp effect and apply on background layer. You can choose any background. I am just show you example. Now go to project window, and drag placeholder 1 effect into timeline above background layer. Now, go to project window and duplicate placeholder 1 comp multiple time. I have 15 images so I am duplicate placeholder 1 comp 15 time, you are free to use any number of images. The more images, the better your effect will be. Now drag all placeholder comp into timeline and open placeholder to comp, and replace image with our second image, by pressing and hold alt key and drag over on current image. Resize image if required. Do the same thing with all placeholder comp. I'm running this part in the video, so that the video does not get long. Here we are done with all images. Now select all placeholder comp and make a 3D comp. If you did not find this press F4. Now create a new camera I am using 50mm preset camera. Then create a null layer and parent with camera. Now change one views to two views horizontal and go to top view and select placeholder comp one by one and place randomly where you want. I am moving this comp Z and X space. Do the same with all placeholder and move all X Y Z space. Again I am running this part in the video, so that the video does not get long. Here we have done as all placement, now go to again one views. Select camera layer and expand, turn on depth of field, and aperture around 200 pixels. Then create another null layer, change name wiggle. Hit P for position and hold and press the Alt key and click on the stopwatch so that it's appear expression layer and add wiggle expression wiggle open parenthesis point three comma fifty close parenthesis now select all placeholder layer and parent with wiggle null layer 
then select null one layer and press P for the position, and go to around one second and add a keyframe. Then go to the first frame and move positions until all images are out of the camera. Select both keyframe and easy ease them. And make your graph like this. Perfect, now go to around 20 frames forward, by pressing shift plus right arrow key double time. And add a keyframe on the same position, then go to around 30 frames forward and move the position as you like, and add a keyframe. Then go to 20 frames forward, and add a keyframe on the same position, then go to again 30 frames forward and move position as you like to add a keyframe. Do the same adjustment in all images. I am running this part in the video. As I said, I am just showing you example. You can add more images. So it's looked more beautiful and attractive. Here we are done with our animation part. Now go to project window and drag particles footage into timeline. And change mode normal to screen. You can find footage link in description. Now drag light leak footage into timeline. And change mode normal to add. Then press T for opacity and change opacity 20%. If light leak footage not cover your full timeline then duplicate your light leak footage. Now duplicate both light leak footage and drag above the background footage. And flip them. Our animation has done. You can also add motion blur. Now hit zero for render. Thanks for watching, I hope you like the video. If you like the video please share it, like it, and subscribe our channel. For more tutorial I'll see you in the next video.